a very pleasant good morning to everyone i'm really happy to welcome you all to this singing session of today and uh, how are you my students hope you are all doing fine staying safe at home is concentrating on your works from today onwards i hope your english your today is your english test and the portions are given as two general that first unit first unit prose but uh, it is a fun that it is a what i can say that it is a thing which is not i just thought that one more week is there for you for your examination and uh, so i gave the portion as the first unit but after that only i could realize that i will get only one that same day of that uh, monday only i am getting that uh, class as well as the test after sending the question paper so i'll just help you to write the examination no problem but prepare it well right read that uh, text one or two times you will be able to write all the answers correctly right one two synonyms i asked most probably that book back things that is uh, very common words you must be very cautious you must be very cautious what is the meaning of the word cautious very careful right there is scarcity for food nowadays since the lockdown is there for the poor people downtrodden people what is the meaning of the word scarcity lack of right something like that then another one question i asked who said these words to whom from the story from that lesson first lesson that uh, who said to whom um, you will be able to answer if you listen to me in this class right then uh, right definition for the words that i told you in the interaction class right right definition from what i have asked then foreign meaning of the foreign words that also what we have discussed in that class from that then two questions i asked from this prose lesson that you can write on your own there is very simple question now uh, today it is a little i am a little in a hurry because i have to complete this uh, just at least see um one small incident i thought of telling you but uh, since it is time i will just proceed to it and after completing towards the end of this class i will tell you that small incident which i wanted to tell you right right once this um, first lesson is two gentlemen of verona two gentlemen of verona see the verona is a city in rome and uh, it is written by a j gardiner so a j proni gardiner it is a j proni right see if you take this um, aj cronin he is a scottish novelist a novelist from scotland scotland england ireland scotland and uh, he is a dramatist also basically he is a physician you know who is a physician a doctor right and uh, and uh, he became a writer by accident and uh, he was recovering from his illness and started writing his first novel hatter's castle so he became popular by writing the novel hatter's castle that is his first novel and by uh, while he was writing the first itself he became very popular that is and uh, this many of his uh, stories you know 
emerged from the medical field in which he worked. He was involved himself in, and uh, <coughs> his uh, writings, especially these novels, is famous for his narrative skill and uh, social consciousness. When he was writing the novel, he was always aware of the society, his social conscien consciousness, and uh, um, his books were not only the became the best sellers but some of them were made into successful dramas stories etc and uh, some became uh, read this um, serials and uh, adopted for radios in that days and see the theme of the story is appearances are often deceptive and one more thing we could uh, learn from the story that is as long as there is uh, people uh, as long as people are willing to sacrifice themselves for others there is hope for humanity hope you understand the meaning as long as people are willing to sacrifice themselves for others there is hope for humanity that is the moral that we could the message that this um, story tells us. As long as there are people who is willing to make sacrifices for others, there is hope for humanity. Right? Right. So one day, you know, A.J. Cronin, along with his driver, the name of the driver is Luigi. L U I G I Lugi. He as well as that our author, they were just uh, um, traveling in a car uh, through the food helps food hills of Alf, Alf mountain range in Europe, a famous mountain range in Europe. As they were moving towards the footsteps of that. A mountain range what is the purpose of that travel is not being mentioned here anyway they were um, moving as they were moving and reaches towards the outskirts of Verona they could see a small two small children selling strawberries so they stopped you might have seen on the way to Nagar Goyal or Ternalveri if you go there no you will you had a chance to you could see so many people standing by the side of the road and selling things flowers fruits etc etc so similarly these two boys were standing by the side of the road as they were nearing that uh, outskirts of Verona they could see these two small boys very small boys and they were selling strawberries and uh, by seeing them they were very shabby in appearance, not well dressed. That um, they were very poor. Their outward appearance says that they are um, not that well to. Do. They belong to, not belong to a well-to-do family. So very poor look they have. And by seeing them, and their hairs are not combed properly. Dress is not in that much neat, torn, rag dress they were wearing. So by seeing the Luigi said, don't buy. Don't buy from them. The reason behind it is, so who said these words to whom? Don't buy. Who said this? Luigi said to our A.J. Cronin, our author, right? He said, don't buy. The reason behind it is, he said, uh, you will get better fruits inside the city. If you go there, you will get better fruits. These boys are standing on the way and they are selling something. And moreover, the appearance of the children, how they look, it won't, uh, it is not at all good to get the fruits from this uh, ugly looking, shabbily looking boys. This is what Luigi said. But you know, the author felt a little sympathy, pity 
towards these two boys and he bought the whole basket of fruits even though it is not needed for him just to uh, just to feeling pity towards that just to encourage the small boys he bought the whole strawberries and they were um, they were <coughs> moving towards towards verona right now let us see about these two boys these two boys by name one's name is nicola the other one is jacob nicola and jacob the elder was 13 years old and the other was 12 years old right so one is 13 years old and the other one is uh, 12 years old the appearance as i said they don't have a proper hair style hair tangled hair dress is very uh, very shabby that is untidy not neat and uh, they hold the basket in their hands and um, getting that biggest basket in a sand they left towards garona so that they passed the next day you know the other could see he went to for some other purpose he was just going through the road just moving in his vehicle and uh, he felt that he has to polish his shoes so he got down from the car and he went there he saw a small child, uh, small two boys sitting and mending the shoes so he went there to his surprise he could see that it is no other person than the two boys he could he was met the previous day who was selling strawberries so he asked them see yesterday i saw you selling fruits today you are mending the shoes the children said yes sir we will do many works it is not only just uh, selling fruits it is not only mending the shoes we help people to go to the neighboring places to the tourists uh, we will act as a guide we are very familiar with all these places so if some visitors come there to see the places we will accompany them and help them to show in their places as guide we will do that or call so and we does many other works see the other was very much impressed by the um, by the briskness the sincerity the honesty the innocence of these two children so he mended his shoes and went on that day right and after that and um, one day you know as he said that we will help the two help uh, people to go to different places around this that picnic spots the other was very much astonished and uh, he went the next day you know he just went on his own work these boys were doing many works here and there whatever works they could do they were doing and uh, now the aj cronin along with uh, lugi has to go back to their own place that is they have to move move from that uh, barona <coughs> so just before that the other met him and told him that within one or two days we are moving from here i really appreciate you i really felt uh, happy to see your briskness your honesty your sincerity towards work i was very extremely impressed by your performance see since i am leaving this place i thought of doing some help to you i will help i wish to help you if you need any help from me 
you must ask me. For that, the elder one, that is Nicola said, Thank you, sir. We don't want any help from you. Thank you very much. We don't. Uh, we will manage. And um, he said he will manage. But the small boy said, Sir, will you please help me to take us to a nearby place by name Polta. Polta, which is around 30 kilometers from this place. Will you help give a Will you please take us in your vehicle? This Sunday we will be going to that pole. But the children did not tell him why they are going to this polta on Sunday. The other also did not ask them why they are going to polta. Right? And since it is Sunday, the other gave off to this driver. So Sunday, the other, the, he has no driver. So he himself has to drive the vehicle. Since he felt pity or he wished to help the children, he told them, yes, I will manage. Since there is, though there is no driver on that day, I myself will come and drop you and pick you up from that fault. So that's Sunday. Right, before this one small incident, that is, another one day, the author met these two more small children in the bus stand, that is, city, late at night. Right, late at night. One day he met them in the um, selling fruits. The other day he saw them uh, mending the shoes. They told that they can act as guide also. And another day, while he was going along that road in the city, he could see these two small children late at night. That is around 12 o'clock. They were sleep, uh, sitting by the, in, the, in, a, in the bus stand in one small stone-like thing. The Nicola was sitting straight. Jacopo was just leaning on his shoulder. Since he is a small child, he might have felt sleepy late at night. He was sleeping there. The father was uh, astonished to see these small children late at night in the <coughs> bus stand. He asked them, why are you being here? What is the reason behind you people here late at night? And these two, uh, two small children said that, see the last train will come just now. And uh, we were waiting for the last train. So when the people come down, get down from the train, they will get the newspaper and they will go along. So just to sell the newspapers, we are here. So by selling the newspaper also, we will earn something. So he saw them. So in this, uh, as a fruit seller, they saw, he saw the two children as a cobbler, then now as newspaper boy. And just before leaving to Varona, he asked, what, is the, uh, what help you want from me? The elder one said, I don't want any help, sir. Thank you very much for your concern. And the younger one says, sir, this Sunday, will you please uh, drop us to this place, which is uh, 30 kilometers away from our Place. That is, uh, the name of the city is, place is Polta. And uh, both the sides, they did not ask why. Why the reason behind them going. But um, the unfortunate thing is that particular day, Sunday, the driver is off. So he has to go by himself. The other has to take the children by himself. But he wanted to help them. Because he was very much impressed by the behavior, attitude, uh, their briskness their uh, duty consciousness, all these things. So he said, yes, I will be coming. And then next Sunday, the other came at the stipulated time and uh, he picked the two children up and they traveled to Holt. 
as they were nearing Polta, the children showed their way. He asked the two, uh, the, the two children asked the other to stop in front of a very big villa, very big bungalow like building. Father just thought within his mind, it is Sunday, these people, I, the other's opinion is that they are going to their home, right? But this building is very big, just like a villa, it is bungalow. How oh, it is, it was astonishing. And uh, the children got down from the vehicle, the place came, they, said, they asked him to stop in front of that villa. It is stopped, they got down from the vehicle. And uh, very quickly they said, we will be back within one hour. We will come back within one hour, just till then, please wait. The children went, the other, that is that A.J. Cronin, just waited there for some time. But he wanted to see, wanted to find out what is the reason behind these people going inside this big bungalow. That curiosity is there in his mind. So, without the knowledge of the children, A.J. Cronin also followed these two children. And uh, these children went inside. And there was a gate before entering that, uh, inside of that uh, place where the children went. That's a small gate. And by the side of that gate, there is a girl, there is a lady with a nurse's dress. She is standing with a nurse. So by her appearance itself, you could make out that she is a nurse. She was standing there. And these children went inside and he was just looking through that uh, Though he could see that these two children were talking to a girl, a young girl. Right? They were talking very curiously, and the three of them were sitting together just like brothers and sister. Right? Brothers and sister. And uh, you don't know what is the this thing. What is the reason? Who, who is this person? He has set out. He wanted to, he don't want to ask the children because so far the children did not reveal the purpose behind their visit to this place. So he did not like to interfere in their personal, uh, personal affair. So he did not ask them anything. But he asked that small that nurse, why this, who is this girl, why these two children, who are these two children, all this particular about the whereabouts about the two children and that girl to this nurse. Now the girl, narrate, the nurse narrated all the, um, all about this two children. That is, they, they are, the three are brothers and sisters. And these children lost their parents in war. They lost their parents in war. So automatically, they have grudge towards the Germans. Since, because of them, their parents were lost. So whenever that um, there is a protest against the Germany, Germany people, country, they will join that movement also. And uh, they have only one sister, <coughs> but the unfortunate thing about her is she got a uh, very uh, a disease that is tuberculosis of the spine. Tuberculosis of the spine, in the spinal column that is uh, tuberculosis. So the children they don't know what to do. Now they are orphans. What to do? They do not know. At the small young age of 13 and 12, there is nobody to take care of them. So what they did is, they just admitted this girl in this hospital. It is hospital like uh, a care center, right? They admitted that um, girl there and every week they will work. 
and we get the money for the medical expenses of this girl right medical expenses of this girl and uh, now i will since it is um, getting time i will just ask you one or two questions we do many things sir who said these words the children right or nicola said to the other none must you work so hard we are working so hard what is the purpose behind you people working so hard who asked this the other asked to the boss right this is who said to who then one two small two questions small questions two small questions i asked who did the narrator meet at the outskirts of verona the other met the narrator the other aj crony met two boys selling strawberries on the outskirts of verona right then why did the driver not approve of the narrator buying fruits from the boys why the driver did not advise the other uh, to buy fruits from the boys because one thing is they will get the fruits cheap inside the city that is uh, his opinion the other one the main reason is the boys were shabby in appearance so these questions you have to answer write the test well and um, prepare your tests that uh, foreign words and uh, definition of these words mm, uh, synonym very simple synonyms and antonyms i asked you can answer so write your example the remaining we will see in the next class right that story also i will tell you in the next class okay children